Greetings guys, Jason Smith here, down at Berry Golf Range in Suffolk, and probably welcome, possibly, to the most important driver release of 2022. And it's not because Mizuno ST 220Z and X series, X is coming after, this is the Z. It's not because this one goes a million miles longer than the rest, it's not that. Nothing to do with that, actually, in fact. Um, Mizuno have gone the completely different direction. So rather than searching for everybody does the exact same thing every single blooming year of peaky, 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 this one goes four yards longer, try and claim this, claim that, and try and prove it. Anyway, uh, Mizuno have changed hugely when it comes to their head design. And now they're rather than going peaky, 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 and they can't compete because obviously when it comes to, they're all going as fast as everyone else, but the marketing machine of Taylor made in Callaway. There you go, beat that. Um, so they've gone a different direction. And I've been moaning at manufacturers for years to go a different direction. Let's go do something like a Ping. Ping's the only manufacturer in the whole of all the manufacturers that focus on one thing and one thing only, forgiveness. So when it comes to the amateur golfer, remember, if you've got a pyramid of golfers, the top part where you've got all that little ice cap at the top, that's like pros, tour players, those bunch that hit the middle nearly every single time. They don't need forgiveness. However, you look at the large lump at the base, amateur golfers, high handicap golfers that don't hit the middle, then having a driver like a ping, which is really forgiving, wins all the time, straight away. They may not hit their longest, longest with a ping. It might be four, five, six yards short when it comes to ultimate carry. However, when you get that whole data set, when you hit every uh, useless shot on the face um, and you put them in there as well, ping by far up on the old, yeah, the averages are so much better. And it does mean that when it comes to the old forgiveness testing, of which we will do in there, we're gonna hit this thing all around the face. Not just the middle, because of course if you hit it in the middle, it's gonna go, of course every driver does. Um, but we're gonna hit it in some real old spots and test just how forgiving this is. We're gonna give it a hit first, and we'll talk about tech, yeah. Oh, the old T goes. Um, straight. <laughs> this thing just wants to go straight. Now, I, I'm not on it today when it comes to my um, strike. So I know if I can, I'll put it up on the old screen. Um, I've got GC2 on the floor, GC2, yeah, ages ago. Uh, GC quad on the floor with uh, FSX mobile capturing, so you can see on the screen and everything. But, so let's just have a quick look at what's inside this beast. So effectively, the reason why it's now forgiving, where the other one wasn't so much forgiving, it's just peaky like every other golf club is, um, is that they've now a bit more carbon on the sole and stripped out some of the titanium plate. Titanium, 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 wherever you are in the world. Um, so effectively, they've now gained a huge load of weight to stick in that 20 grammer at the back. Yeah, that's doubled in size. So now, um, I've done the test between the old Z and this Z, and um, is this longer? No, it's not, actually. And if I've done laborious testing, it actually turns out the new one is two yards shorter than the old <laughs> two. Um, but again, I'm a human, so you do enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not, is it statistically significant? Probably not, but it's not longer. But what it is, is more forgiving. And when we go in there, I'll show you just how forgiving this thing is, because I've done all the testing already, and it is hilarious where you can hit this on the face and it still goes straight. Anyway, down by the golf ball, it looks very, very much so similar to the old Z. There's no huge things that have changed. Um, if you were to get the old one, a new one, of course there's gonna be some minute differences and people are gonna go, go on the comments and go, yeah, this is this, this is different, this is different. And it possibly is. Yeah, you got the carbon look on top, shiny, shiny, nice and gloss. And you got the Z, Z, double Z. What is that? Yeah, Z, Z in the back. <laughs> yeah, I've got this in the hazardous uh, RDX Smoke 6, 0 0.0, 60 gram low spin, blah, blah, blah. Same shafts I had in the other Z and X for apples for apples testing. But the sound you get off the face is. There you go. It's not high pitched, it's not carbon. The interesting thing, I, this is not that classic, really kind of dead feel that you can get from carbon. It's in between, it's got a little bit of. Um, punch to it but it's not high-pitched titanium crack that uh, yeah we used to get years ago um i'm not on it today completely when it comes to strike so you'll be able to see these these are just it's i honestly might stick my low spin head 
not in the bin, but out the way of them. And I might go to something like this, which is like severely, severely forgiving. It is just ridiculous where you feel that you can hit this and it's just gonna go like straight. Yep. <sighs> oh, this is just, oh, I enjoy hitting this thing. It's fun, it is fun. And I just, I mean, I wonder sometimes uh, how bad you can try and hit this and still hit target. Now, when it comes to ping, let's just say that. So ping are the daddies when it comes to forgiveness. Um, they always have been. And it's gonna be really interesting to see going forward this year when you compare this thing in the amateur's hands in real fittings around the world, how well this does against the ping, because it's effectively exactly the same. Um, the difference will be, will everybody continue to do the classic peak, 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 peak fitting? Only focus on the ones that you hit the longest and completely ignore the miss hits, which I would argue are just as important as the ones that you hit a long way. Right, again, it's gone straight. So Ping's idea anyway, when it comes to if you ask them, your job as a golfer is to put that face somewhere near where you want that golf ball to go. Yep, that's the whole idea. And if you miss hit it, let Ping worry about that. This is a completely different sound to a Ping. And I know sometimes the sound that Pings do make, some people don't like the noise that Pings make because it is quite, yep. Yeah. Um, this has got the same forged beta titanium 2041 SATA to whatever it is face that he had in the old STZ. And it's basically exactly the same as the old STZ. Let's face it, there's not much difference in this whatsoever. It's got the same tech in it within reason. But with the weight savings, titanium plate smaller, and it's that back weight. And uh, I'm gonna go hit this one out the heel. Let's see if I can hit this low heel, the place where I really hate. And let's see if we can get this one. Oh, I'm a really scabby hit going somewhere near I hate hitting shots like this, but for fun, let's have a go. Oh yeah, that's hideous. That is horrific. Don't hit a golf club there, ever. But it's gone straight. <laughs> Changed flight, lost distance in the air, but it's gone straight. So anyway, let's go in the custom fitting studio now. Let's go have a look at loads and loads of shots where there's not too many, but I'll just describe by some captures. Well, obviously we've got HMT, we've got head measuring data. Um, and just show you how far offline you can not go when you hit it this far away from the middle. So now in the custom fitting studio, where all the magic happens when it comes to testing, the laborious task of hitting a golf club so many times in so many different spots so you can test how forgiving this thing is. And I wanna put something else out there right now, just straight away, that there is a reason why I give head data. Um, the reason why I give head data is to basically, if I wanna say something, however daft and however ridiculous that statement will be, um, and I've said some weird things in my time, um, the great thing with head data is you can qualify what you're gonna say, you can basically back up what you're saying. And if I said this new STZ, STZ, whatever you wanna call it, 220 driver, hits it to the moon, you'd say, yeah, of course it does. The person standing here in Mizuno outfit um, hitting the Mizuno driver, of course it goes to the moon. Well, it won't go to the moon. Of course it won't go to the moon. If it did go to the moon, I'd have to be swinging at I don't know how many thousand mile an hour to try and reach escape velocity. But yeah, um, it doesn't hit to the moon. What it does do though, is it does something extremely well. Mizuno have changed when it comes to the head weights. They've gone to a much heavier head and that has enabled it to be exceptionally forgiving. Is it slightly shorter than its old STZ counterpart, you could argue? Um, I've done the test and it, yes it is, by two yards. So it's not, I mean two yards is not even statistically worth worrying about. Um, but what it is, because of these head weights are heavy, is it does something extremely well. You can hit it from an, a ridiculous part of the face and it still hits target. And we'll go into that. So before I go into the data for me of how well this performs when you don't quite hit the middle, I did a very, very small data set just to sort of see if you can maximize this, the STZ, Z, whatever, 220, at 95 miles an hour, the more of the normal speed that golfers swing. 
within reason. So, um, look at the club speed, 94.9, hitting 8.4 up. I'm trying to launch this thing, yeah? I'm purposely trying to maximize what I bring to the table. Club path 0.1, face to path 0.6, uh, loft 20.3 degrees, seven mil toe, six mil high. So very slightly high toe, but very slightly. Uh, ball speed 137, launching 16.8. Backspin 1400. Now this is the only question I want. I, if you're gonna do a proper data set, I'd wanna get that backspin up a little bit. Yes, I do, just for a factor of safety, because if I hit any higher than six mil on the face, then that backspin is gonna drop even more and potentially it's gonna drop out of the sky because it hasn't got sufficient spin to keep it in the air. So for factor of safety, I'd wanna be spinning up three, 400 RPM, definitely more. Um, so, but anyway, descent angle 35.5, so 33.5, so it's going in nice and shallow. Offline 14.1, peak at 29, and carry 243, totaling 274 from a 95 miles an hour swing, 94.9. Now, if you can maximize when it comes to custom fitting, even at 95 miles an hour, 94.9, um, you can get something out there 275. Wow. Anyway, make sure when it comes to custom fitting, you're also having lessons as well to try and make sure you're as efficient as possible. Because obviously the slower you are, unfortunately, you haven't got space or space speed to waste. Um, so you need to be as efficient as you possibly can do. Right, so let's go to the ball data. Um, right, on average, remember this is misses included. So all the bad shots that you're gonna see are including this, hence why they're slightly lower. But ball speed on average 156, launching 13 degrees, backspin 2-1, uh, descent angle 37.2, offline 20 degrees, 20 degrees, 20 yards. I will qualify why that's gone slightly left, but yeah, do it a little bit later. Uh, peak height 33 and carry 277. Uh, total 303, so it's not short. By no stretch of the imagin imagination, it's not short at all. If we go by the um, club head data, we're looking at uh, club head speed of 109.5, trying to keep it under, uh, under 110. Attack angle 5.4 up, club path 0.2, face to path 1.2 closed. Again, slightly too close, but I'll get into why that's slightly too close. Um, loft basically 18 degrees, eight mil toe, one mil low. So that is the basis. Now the reason why they're going left, I'll do this one very, very quickly. Um, on the data set for, for the a certain amount, I was going to a hole and I'll put the hole up on the screen now so you can actually see there that my aim point was down a certain part of the fairway but I was obviously the fairway's moving right to left and I'm trying to hit, do it in a game environment, I'm trying to hit target rather than just a blank range as such. And you can see there, it's how consistent that is. I've hit, I don't know how many shots there. I really don't know how many shots are there. A lot. And I've got three out misses on the left-hand side, too far. I mean, unfortunately, where this fairway was, it really kicks to the left as well. So I didn't miss fairway by much, but enough to kick it down there. But all the rest of them hit target. I mean, I find, I, I see driving as a skill. I like driving and yeah, so, but to do that, yeah, impressive. Anyway, so let's go to the forgiveness. How bad can you hit this thing? <laughs> How bad can you hit this and it still go to target? This is the game now. Uh, so <laughs> amateur golfers gleam from this, how bad you can hit it. So um, clubbing speed's a little bit faster. Remember, I hit loads of no different shots, 113 miles an hour, 1.1 from the inside, 0.2 closed. Um, 17 mil toe, two mil low, 17 mil toe. It's still gone out there, 289. 316 total when 13 yards offline from a 17 toe, three quarters of an inch off the middle. <laughs> yep, that's gone straight. Uh, next one, 111.5, club head speed, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.8 from the inside, 0 0.7 closed. Catch this, zero mil high, 39 mil toe, 39. Now remember, this club face is certain amount large. 39, it's nearly missed. That's just crazy. So, um, have we lost distance? Of course we've lost distance. Uh, basically 20 yards in the air distance, but it's gone offline 9.9 .9 yards. Now, it has started 7.9 degrees out to the right-hand side, but it's geared back. Generally speaking, most peaky drivers, um, they max out around the 20 somethings before gear effect doesn't work. The face just goes straight open. It starts right, goes right, gone. Um, the fact that this is 
worked. 39 millimeters toe is incredible. I mean, in my time, I've seen some amateurs miss hit shots when it comes to coaching and all the time that you spend with them. And uh, yes, they do miss, and they miss by horrific amounts sometimes. And when they're using other manufacturers' drivers, which are peaky drivers, um, the shots are interesting. When it goes to something like a ping, if they have a ping in their hands, it's more forgiving, they've got more chance of hitting target, it will have, a, they'll be penalized distance, of course they will, but I'm excited for the fact that a manufacturer finally is making a driver just focused on purely one thing, just absolute forgiveness, because this is a potential groundbreaking thing for Mizuno and opening up Mizuno as an option, as a genuine option, to a vast array of golfers. I'm actually thinking about gaming a Z and dropping my low spin option. Anyway, next one, 110 miles an hour on average, well, 109.8, uh, 22.3 pass from the inside, face two degrees open. So 4.3 degrees open to target at the start. Yeah, 13 mil low, 26 mil heel. That is horrific, that, that didn't feel nice. Um, has it gone right? Yes, my face was open and my path was on the inside, but more importantly, 13 mil low, 26 mil hill, that should be gearing massively to, to the right, a normal driver, forgiving head. That's gone 24 yards right, but it's not lost. You will find that. It won't be fairway, no, it will be first cut or rough, but you'll find it. You do that on most drivers and you are physically reloading your tee shot. <laughs> wow. Next one, um, 111 club head speed, 0.6 me inside, zero face. Uh, 10 mil high, 27 mil toe. Yep, 27 mil toe. Um, that's gone, 302 total, 9.7 yards off line. Uh, that's geared the perfect amount. Well, by 9.7 yards, but at 302, Oof. Okay, next one, we could do this all day. 0.7 from the outside, 0.6 closed, 5 mil low, 10 mil heel, uh, 300 yards total, 0.2. <laughs> I mean, the fact that obviously it started left um, with and then geared back with the heel strike. <laughs> um, here's one for you. Club head speed, 112, 111.7. 0.4 from the outside, 0.9 closed. Low heel, so, sorry, low heel. Low toe, seven mil low, seven mil toe. 290 carry, 9.3 uh, offline. It's yeah it's just crazy i mean some of the shots that i've done on this I could, i'll scroll scroll through them quickly now and i'll put them on the screen um it's just amazing just how, i mean this one's a great one 0.9 from the inside 0.3 open um low heel by 10 mil low 15 mil heel have we lost distance of course we have from the that strike um 6.3 yards offline you've got 10 mil heel 16 mil low 278, 16.9 yards offline with a face open to an inside path. If you want to bomb this one, you can bomb it. So if you want to start not messing around and hitting, or say messing around, but if you're going to hit a certain point in the face, I've got one here, dialed the speed up, 113.814 miles an hour. Um, it's gone 297 carry, six and a half yards offline. I mean, it's a, you can bomb it. It's, I'm not saying that this is the only thing it can do is hit target. If you're hitting middle um, and you swing at a certain speed, yes, you can get it out there if you want to, but by far, the interesting thing from my point of view is just literally how forgiving this thing is. If I'm losing a very small amount of distance, why would I give up the extra forgiveness? Why? Where, when I'm only losing seven or eight yards in the air, really in the grand scheme of things, but I can guarantee within reason never to lose a golf ball again. Never to have one of those moments where what the f happened there? and it goes, it's just crazy, crazy good. Um, I will do more compares against this. I will put it directly up in a video against the 425. I have done the data sets already, and I can categorically say it's as forgiving as a 425. So for the golfers out there which are looking for forgiveness, we're looking for a driver that still can get out there, no different to a pin, can still get out there as well, but under normal circumstances, if you're gonna miss hit a normal peaky driver, the, the miss hits are gonna be penal. 
the good shots are going to be good, they are, but when you're talking about amateurs who hit a lot of interesting shots, you're looking at your averages and not just concentrating on the one out of 50 that you hit absolutely rip it. It's as important to look at the other 49 because you hit the other 49 and there is a lot more of them when you play golf every day. Well, not every day. Some people are not able to play golf every day, but you know what I mean. So anyway, um, comment below with exactly what you'd like me to put this up against or, or do different tests because it's an interesting one to say the least. I am happy that a manufacturer that has just decided to go completely the other way and just go, right, well, we've maxed out when it comes to ball speed. Let's just try and capture the market effectively um, by choosing a maximum forgiveness option which is going to put it in the hands of the vast majority of golfers out there it is just a, such a good thing so anyway um head data is given so you can actually see qualified the the, the statements etc so if you want to comment below obviously down there there you go um whilst you're down there one of those thumbs up youtube likes it and also way down there little subscribe button if you click that one thank you very much and also next to that little bell icon if you click that one that let you know next time i upload another video so hope you well and we'll see you again soon